What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 All-Wheel Drive Plus. Huge thank you to Mike C over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular XC60 or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Mike's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. It is a little bit breezy here today. I do have a windsock on the camera, but there still might be a little bit of wind noise. I am trying my best, so just keep that in mind as we go throughout this video. But first, let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive plus. And this particular one happens to be the dark theme, which I think makes the XC60 look even better than it does with the Chrome. I just, I think it gives it a much sportier look. I know it is subjective, but I think it makes it look better. But this particular one has also been painted in the $695 crystal white metallic, which looks very, very good in collaboration with the dark theme. But let's start over here at our headlights. So with the plus you guys do get led headlights with active high beams as well as active bending lights you also do get thor's hammer led daytime running lights and then this particular one has this 750 dollars climate package and that gives you guys these headlight cleaners so basically this thing will pop out and spray the headlights when you guys um, spray your windshield washers it's a pretty cool feature and then towards the bottom of your front bumper is where you will find your led fog lights now working our way to the center of the front end like i mentioned earlier on in the video this is the dark theme so what the dark theme gives you is this beautiful gloss black mesh grill as well as a black grill surround at the center of your grill is where you'll find your Volvo logo and then towards the bottom of your Volvo logo is where you will find your forward-facing camera that forward-facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes standard on the plus and then you also do get six forward-facing sensors as standard on the front end of the XC60 plus as well and then one thing that I really like is that you also get a gloss black lower grill, which normally um, some manufacturers kind of slack and they'll make this like satin black, but the gloss black looks fantastic. And then the gloss black also has some trim pieces that connect it to the gloss black outer grills there and there just to give this thing a really, really good look. Again, that's just my personal opinion. And then also you get a really aggressive front bumper design uh, with the XC60 dark theme. For some reason with those dark accents, it just makes this thing look super, super sporty. And then if you guys were wondering about the ground clearance, you get eight and a half inches of ground clearance with the all wheel drive XC60 Plus. Working our way down along the side. One thing that I really like about certain manufacturers, I'm gonna say like Ford F-150, for example, is that they get these um, like fender creases. I think it really just adds to the sporty look, again, with the dark theme. And I think the shade is accentuating those body lines as well, but working our way down into the wheel and tire setup. These are the standard wheels that you get with the Plus and they are a 19 inch five V-spoke graphite diamond cut wheel. And they are wrapped in a 235-55 Pirelli Scorpion Zero all season tire. I'll give you guys a view of the tread pattern on that tire as best that I can right there. You also do get a double wishbone front suspension with the XC60, so all XC60s get that suspension. But working our way, into our side view mirrors you guys with the dark theme get gloss black mirror caps with integrated led turn signals these side view mirrors are heated power folding auto dimming you get your blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver's side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror and then all the way at the bottom of your side view mirrors about right there is where you'll find your side view cameras. Those side view cameras work with your 360 degree view camera system that again comes standard with the plus. Here's a little side profile of the XC60 dark theme. And then we'll start from the top and work our way to the bottom. You guys do get gloss black roof rails as well as gloss black window trim. You get body color door handles with keyless access and illumination. So basically at night, this little light right here will illuminate this area. So make it a little bit easier to grab onto those door handles you also get some of those body lines uh basically at the lower three quarters of your passenger doors and then all the way at the bottom you guys get body color door cladding and then that is a look at the rear three quarter angle of the xc60 
Up top here, you get a body color shark fin antenna, a body color roof spoiler with your integrated third brake light. Show you guys a little booty shot of the XC60 because you guys do get LED taillights as well as some chrome badging back here. Coming over here just below your second V, first V, second V is where you'll find your backup camera. Uh, again, that backup camera comes standard, obviously, because I think in 2018 is when the United States mandated all vehicles have a backup camera. This particular one has also been optioned with the $200 power liftgate, which in my personal opinion, Volvo, come on, you got to give the power liftgate for free. I mean, 200 bucks, that's really not all that much, but because it's not all that much, it should come standard. Again, my personal opinion, but I think it's kind of ridiculous to charge 200 bucks for the power lift gate when that should be standard. They even charge that on the Ultimate. But anyway, that is besides the point. This particular one has also been optioned with the $385 protection package. And basically what that gives you is this plastic luggage mat as well as these rubber floor mats. I don't think this is the protection package premiere. At least it didn't say it was on the window sticker. It said it was the protection package. So normally with like the protection package premiere, you'd have like a stainless steel bumper cover. You'd get the uh, luggage mat, you'd get the floor mats. Then you'd also get wheel locks and a first aid kit. This one doesn't have the bumper cover, the wheel locks or the first aid kit. Anyway, uh, you get these two stainless pieces. And then opening this up back here is where you will find your temporary spare tire. Uh, that's kind of about it for the back end other than you get a little light there get another little light there and then not on this side but on the driver's side you get a little storage cubby uh, back in there for whatever you want to put there pressing on that button will close the lift gate that will close the lift gate and lock the vehicle and then you get another little light pressing on that the lift gate will begin to drop and then coming down just a tad you guys do get two reflectors as well as six more backup sensors back here body color rear valence with some black trim accenting as you may be able to tell that black trim comes with the dark theme and then the max tow capacity is 3500 pounds you want to pop open this gas thing here the fuel door and show you guys that premium fuel is required at a minimum of 91 octane but let me know what you guys think of the 2023 volvo xc60 dark theme in the comments down below do you guys prefer the bright three three uh, theme do you guys prefer the dark theme i already stated my opinion i think the dark theme looks a lot better but i can understand those of you guys who like chrome you'd rather have the bright theme again let me know what you think in the comments down below but let's move into performance popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder that works with a 48 volt mild hybrid system total output is 247 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque it is made into a eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six and a half seconds if you guys were wondering about fuel economy you can achieve 23 miles per gallon in the city 29 miles per gallon on the highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive one thing i always point out on pretty much all of my volvo review videos take a look how far your hood opens i mean that makes it very easy if you were to work on this yourself which i highly doubt you would but it just makes it a little bit easier to reach back here because this thing is almost goes up like 90 degrees i'd say it's like 80 degrees uh, but anyways if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button i am now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers i know that sounds crazy and i cannot do that without your help so if you guys have taken anything from this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but Let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, you do get keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind any of the door handles and the vehicle will unlock. You guys can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across this little square right here and the vehicle will lock. You get a little beep and then the side view mirrors will fold in. But stepping on into the interior, one thing that I really like about Volvo products is that they are super, super solid. They've got great build quality so taking a look at the door panel all of this like right here 
and all of that is leather wrapped and then the rest of the door panel is vinyl wrapped black vinyl at the top then you get that lighter vinyl towards the bottom you get an aluminum door handle two memory seat adjustment settings your unlock and your lock functions here are your power side view mirror controls if you guys press the l and the r buttons simultaneously your side view mirrors will fold in automatic up and down windows at all four corners and then with the plus you guys do get power child door locks for your second row so when you guys press that now the second row doors will not open up from the inside anyway um, so that is what that and then it also restricts your passenger window privileges you get a decent amount of storage space at the bottom of the door panel honestly for this size of a vehicle i think it's more than enough storage space and then you get a great spot you could set a water bottle right there you get a brushed aluminum a volvo door sill i'm not sure how well the gopro is going to pick it up but that's a better look at that you get a power front driver's seat and a power front passenger seat but let's step into the interior and let's see what the interior is all about so also one of the first things i wanted to say is that with the plus you guys do get interior high level illumination which is basically a fancy way of saying ambient lighting you also do get wood inlays with the plus and this is real wood and it feels very very premium it also looks very very premium and one thing i say in pretty much all of my volvo review videos is that one thing i really like about the volvo interiors is that they're very simplistic yet they look so elegant and that's just my personal opinion but keyless access also means you do get to push button start all you got to do is have your key fob in the interior push your foot down on the brake and then twist this to the right and the vehicle will turn on one thing that i've always found interesting about volvo products is that uh one sec sorry i wanted to turn the uh, climate system off is that their vehicles basically just like turn on there's not like a a starter making like a and then start it just kind of like turns on if, and if you own a volvo you know what i'm talking about and if you own a volvo and you're watching this video let me know in the comments if you guys know what i'm talking about but starting over here that is to power open and or close your power lift gates. And then you also do get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. All you gotta do is push down on that. And then what I mean by tilting and telescoping is that it'll come towards you, it'll go away from you, and then it also moves up and down, which is very nice. And you can basically find the perfect position for your steering wheel. But I do wanna show you guys what the turn signal sounds like. So here you go. That is what the turn signal sounds like. So this is your turn signal control stock. This is your headlight control stock. This is also your fog light control stock and your high beam control stock. And it's honestly, you can also reset your trip information uh, with the button on the end of it. So a lot going on here, um, but starting all the way at the bottom, twisting this down, that is headlights off. That's daytime running lights on. That is headlights always on. Coming up one more, headlights automatic, and then flipping that up all the way will turn your automatic high beams on or off. Then this is for your front fog lights. To click that, front fog lights are on. And then this is for your rear fog light. So I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna show you guys what the rear fog light looks like. So coming to the back, see that light right there? That is your rear fog light. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna turn that back off. You guys will see that that light turns right back off. So now you see that light is off. That is what your rear fog light looks like. I thought I might point that out because everybody knows what front fog lights look like, but not very many people know what a rear fog light looks like. But taking a look at the steering wheel, I love the two-tone design on the steering wheel with the black leather on the outside. You get that lighter leather on the inside. It looks really, really good. Um, but let's take a listen to the horn. That is what your horn sounds like on the XC60. So on this side of the steering wheel, you have your adaptive cruise control settings. Adaptive cruise control comes standard with the plus. And then on this side of the steering wheel, this is to volume up, this is to volume down, this is to go back on a track, this is to go forward on a track, that is to select uh, like for your infotainment screen. But these arrows also have more uses and we'll get into that when we get into the screen here. But this is a 12.3 inch digital driver display and you have two display modes, both Calm and Navi. Right now we are in um, Navi. And to go throughout your different display modes, it's very, very easy. There's not much you can control uh, on this screen up here. So basically clicking on this button here, now I'm in Calm mode now i'm in navi mode that is literally one of the only things you can do throughout this screen but if it, you click right here 
that will bring you into this screen. Basically, you can see your odometer. This vehicle has 82 miles on it. And then you have like the trip manual. So I can reset what's on this side by pressing on this button on the end of your turn signal stock. So I'm gonna press and hold on that and then that will reset back down to zero. And you guys will see that when I click back on this button. So now all of these are back down to zero. But basically this also does it automatically and it lets, it basically resets the trip every time that you guys go on a trip. So since I've left the dealership, I've gone uh, 3.9 miles. That is my average MPG. That's how long I've been out for. And then that is basically my average speed. That's kind of about it for the screen, that, at least stuff that you can do uh, on the screen. So get your speedometer on the left-hand side of the gauge cluster. You have your RPM gauge over here on the right-hand side of the gauge cluster. Like I said, this is a 48 volt mild hybrid system. So when we come to a stop, you guys will see like blue arrows going up like that in the battery, basically recharging that hybrid system. Up top here, that's letting me know my seatbelt is off. That's the ambient exterior temperature. Um, that's the fog light stuff. That's the headlight stuff. If I turn the fog lights off and I go back into headlights automatic I guess it's just gonna keep the headlights on that's your fuel range down here and then that is your transmission status one thing I wanted to kind of get into right now uh, has to do with the transmission gear shift selector here so if you guys want to go into manual mode you got to go all the way back into drive pull back one more time now we're in manual mode and then click that over to the left if you want to downshift like this and then click this over to the right like that if you guys want to upshift so you can see click it over to the left now I'm clicking over to the right now I'm upshifting and downshifting I'm gonna put it back into park for the time being this is what your windshield wiper control stock looks like for your front windshield wipers and your rear wiper you get bl uh, black vinyl wrapping up top here and then working our way into the infotainment system this is the nine inch Google based infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay connectivity so I'll show you guys what the home screen looks like this is the home screen. You got your maps, your uh, audio stuff, your phone stuff, and your Google Assistant all the way at the bottom. That's the current time. And then if you guys wanna go into the other screen, you gotta click these four little square boxes and then that will bring you into uh, this screen here. So basically you got your map stuff and then these are all like your different audio stuff. So if I click right there, now that also brings Google News into the uh, equation here. And then your phone stuff, your CarPlay stuff. We you got your uh, Google Assistant and your car status stuff. Give it a second basically uh you can go in between all these different things here anyways um that's kind of about it for that screen um come down just a tad bit more there are a couple shortcut buttons on the bottom of the screen so this is uh to bring up your 360 degree view camera system 360 camera comes standard with the plus um, and then you can also go between your different camera zones so that's the front camera this is the driver side camera here this is the passenger side camera and then go all the way to the back. This is the backup camera. One thing that I wish though with the camera system is that when I threw this into reverse, I wish the top part would be the 360 camera and then that would be the backup camera. But basically it's just showing me the sonar stuff on the top. The sonar, what I mean by that is like your uh, forward facing sensors and your backup sensors. So that's kind of about it for that. Coming over here, you guys get heated front seats as standard with the Plus. This one has the $750 climate package, which gives you the heated steering wheel, as well as the heated second row seats and the headlight washers. Uh, I'll get into that later on in this video. But anyway, to go into your heated seats, that's what you press, that's what you press for your passenger. And then obviously for the driver, you also get the heated steering wheel with three levels of adjustability. Heated seats also get three levels of adjustability. To bring up the climate control stack throughout this entire screen, all you gotta do is click right here on the screen. And that is what your climate control screen looks like. And then this is your home button. That's pretty much about it for that screen. I don't wanna spend too much time on the screen. Uh, but basically I got what I needed to out of the way. So this is your hazard button right here. You can see it flashes with the hazards. I think that's pretty cool. That is your front defroster. That is your rear defroster. This is to go back on a track. This is to go forward on a track. This is your volume knob. And then uh, obviously, if you guys go turn the volume up, that's basically like your mute button. Unmute, and then obviously your volume knob. And then that is a dead button. Coming over to here, sliding that forward, you get a great spot. You could set your key fob if you wanted to down in there. That's what I would use it for anyway. You get a 12 volt power outlet right there. This is your gear shift selector, push P to go into park. Um, you also have another spot you can set your key fob there. 
two places you can set uh, cups. However, if your key fob battery dies um, and like it's not unlocking and or locking the vehicle, you can set your key fob right there and your vehicle will start even though the key fob battery is dead. This is to start or stop the vehicle. All you gotta do is twist that to the right. Electronic parking brake, and then this is auto hold. Basically, this will hold you in place. Let's say you're stuck in traffic. You're tired of holding your foot down on the brake by yourself. If you press this button here, basically uh, push your foot down all the way on the brake and then the vehicle will hold you in place with its braking system. It is a really, really cool feature. And then you get a nicely padded armrest. Opening up the armrest, you get two USB-C ports here. That is one, and then that is the second one. Then you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space down in there. I'd say maybe a quarter of my forearm fits down in there, maybe like 40%, something like that. Not the biggest amount of space down in there, but you can fit what you need to over there. You do not get a lockable glove box, but you get a huge glove box and you can fit exactly Exactly what you need to in there aside from your owner's manual you get a frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with your universal garage door opener on the bottom so let's say you own a house with three different garage bays you can open up those three different garage bays individually with these three different buttons coming up just a tad you have like your volvo on call stuff which is basically like roadside assistance this lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off Driver gets a light, passenger gets a light, and you can turn those on. It's basically like a touchscreen light, kind of interesting. Um, and then pressing on that button will turn all the interior dome lights on, again, by the push of that button. And then as standard with the plus, you guys get a panoramic sunroof. So all I gotta do is flick my finger back like that, and then the shade will go back. Now, once the shade is going back to a certain point, I can flick this up again, and then the sunroof will open all the way up. So not only is this a sliding sunroof, this is also a tilting sunroof. If you guys wanna tilt the sunroof, all you gotta do is basically put your finger right there and then the sunroof will tilt. Pretty cool feature. Bluetooth mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone there and there. You get a visor, folding the visor down. You get a vanity mirror with a vanity light and a money clip. You can set money registration or any small paper product. These visors do not slide. I know that for a fact. So they stay in position. And uh, that's about the coverage you get with the visor. I'm gonna bring that back. Actually, I'm gonna close that uh, shade. Opu panel for the driver over there. You get an Opu panel for the front passenger. This passenger seat looks pretty much the exact same, or not the passenger seat. Well, the passenger seat and the passenger side uh, door panel looks pretty much the exact same as what you get on the driver side. I did want to go over a couple things that you guys do get as standard with the plus, and those things include the leather upholstery. You get wood inlays, interior high level illumination, the 360 degree view camera system, the adaptive cruise control the power child locks for the second row passengers, the panoramic moonroof, and a lot of other things. Now I am going to throw up some safety and security stuff on screen and I'll read that along with you guys. Basically, uh, you guys get blind spot information with steer assist and cross traffic alert with auto brake. You get pilot assist, which is a driver assistance system, including the adaptive cruise control. You get collision avoidance featuring low and high speed collision mitigation that detects vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and large animals. You get runoff road protection, runoff road mitigation, lane departure warning, lane keeping aid, oncoming mitigation by braking. You get all those airbags, you get the whiplash protection system in the front seats. Um, and then you guys basically get the rear and front park assist, uh, as well as automatic braking after a collision and a couple other things that I skimmed over. But now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. You guys can take a look at the government safety ratings. This thing pretty much gets five stars in every aspect except for rollover. So if you, God forbid you get in an accident, just know you are in a very, very safe vehicle. Um, you guys can go over the different standard stuff, the optional stuff, but I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all wheel drive plus dark theme is specced is $53,100. In $25. Let me know what you guys think of that price in the comments down below. Personally, I think that's a pretty good value, especially considering the solid build quality of this. Uh, and you know, that this is just a great vehicle overall. It's great looking. Uh, the seats are comfortable. It's very, very safe. Um, you get a lot of stuff uh, standard on this. Uh, so very, very nice. And for the price, I think it's worth it. Aluminum door handle. You can lock the vehicle from back here. Automatic up and down windows. You get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest. 
and you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space back at the bottom of your door panel. This is what your second row seats look like. You get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders. All you gotta do is press on there and then you have two cup holders and a nicely padded armrest. Stepping on into the vehicle, I am five foot nine and I am adjusted behind myself. I've got plenty of knee room. I have plenty of headroom uh, and plenty of leg room as well. You guys can see I probably have another six inches of headroom. One thing that's pretty cool is that if you guys go skiing, you guys can send your skis through here from the trunk up to here, which is always nice. You get an HVAC vent there. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat and behind the passenger seat. Coming up, you get an Opu panel, a spot you can set your dry cleaning and a dome light. And then down here with the climate package, you guys get heated second row seats. They are only the out, uh, only the outboard second row seats are heated, uh, both with three levels of adjustability. You get a spot right here. You could set like a Purell hand sanitizer thing. Um, and then all the way down here, you guys get two USB-C ports. But, you know, we've talked about the exterior. We've talked about the performance. And now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the XC60+. Plus. So I want to see what this thing's like to drive, as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review, where I always start my videos here, at least when I film out this way. We go over these speed bumps at about five miles an hour, and then I rate them on a scale of one to 10. Nothing will ever be a 10 because nothing in this world is perfect. So let's see how it does over the second one. It did very well over the first one. I don't expect it to do any worse. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. It did very, very well over those speed bumps. Um, and that's something that has always kind of impressed me with the Volvo's suspensions. Um, even if you don't get the air ride suspension, they all just ride very, very well over bumps uh, and just imperfections on the road. Now, speaking of the air suspension, uh, I think with the 2023 model year, you can no longer, um, option for the air suspension on the plus but you can option for it on the ultimate now this is kind of leading me into my next point talking about the trim levels there are three trim levels to you can get uh, with the gas mild hybrid variant of the xc60 you can get the core you can get the plus and you can get the ultimate this one is the plus and honestly this is all you really need and more um, so unless you want the ultimate experience then you get the ultimate, you know, that comes with everything and you can option for the Bowers and Wilkins sound system and you can also option for the adaptive air ride suspension. And honestly, I think those are still a good deal because I, I think you can get one of those for like $64,000, $65,000 with pretty much every option which considering what you get, I mean, these things are built so well. They're very well insulated from the outside world. You get a ton of tech. They're super, super safe. Um, but if you're looking to spend like $50,000 on a car, right? This is a little bit more than $50,000, at least MSRP wise. I don't know what the price or what they're selling this one for, but I mean, this is all you need. I mean, this thing has everything you need. It's got everything you need and more. 360 camera, adaptive cruise control, pano roof. Um, you can option for the Harman Kardon sound system on this. It's an $800 option. This one doesn't have it. Um, honestly, this standard sound system sounds pretty good um, but if you guys want something that's just a little bit better uh, and you guys like to listen to music in your car and you just want a good sound system that might be an option you might want to get you can still get that option with this vehicle for under fifty five thousand dollars if you want one of the best sounding sound systems on the market you're gonna to wanna to get the ultimate, and you're gonna to wanna to get the ultimate with the banging off, or the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, excuse me. And that is like a $3,400 option or something like that. I don't know the exact price, it's either 32 or 34. But that sound system is worth every single penny. It sounds so good. It's got amazing clarity, it's got amazing bass, um, and it's honestly just one of the best sounding sound systems I've ever heard in a vehicle. Uh, but the Harman Kardon sound system is the one you can get on the Plus, uh, and that also sounds really good. You know, is it a Bowers & Wilkins quality? Not quite, but look how quick this thing is. I mean, this thing, <laughs> this is the B5, it's not even the B6. And this thing's got plenty of get up and go. You know, once you start flooring it and you know, you're winding your way out throughout the gears and you start getting up to 60, that's kind of when it starts to slow down. Um, 
but you know if you guys are just cruising around town you do some highway driving and you're not like a maniac on the highway this thing's got more than enough get up and go for those of you guys who are looking at one of these uh, and I think the B5 you you can only get the B5 powertrain on the plus if you guys want the B6 you're gonna have to get the ultimate uh, basically it makes more power um, so I mean I think this is the sweet spot XC60 trim level to get because you pretty much get everything you need. You don't get ventilated seats. Yes, that kind of, it is what it is, uh, but you don't need that. Um, you also don't get the option to get the air suspension. You don't need that really, uh, unless you really want it. I mean, if you have the money, you got to get it. I mean, it is that much better. Um, and then also, you if you have a little bit of extra money, you can also get the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. That is also really, really good, and that is also worth the money. But like I said, if you guys are looking at one of these and you're on a budget and you don't really want to spend more than $55,000, the Plus is a great value at that. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to hear what it sounds like at about 50, 55 miles an hour. So here you go. So as you may be able to tell, it is very well insulated from the outside world. I'm also going to give you guys a little bit of an acceleration up here uh, without me talking so you guys can hear what this thing sounds like when it's accelerating. Um, so basically, you don't have to go to the dealership to test drive it. You can basically test drive it from the comfort of your own home. That is why I make these videos. Thank God we caught this light. I was hoping we were going to catch this light. I never want to catch a light, uh, but when I make these videos, I like catching lights because then I can show you guys what it feels like and what it sounds like when accelerating up to speed. So once this light turns green, I'm gonna give you guys a little acceleration. Here we go. Floored. I told you guys, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it'll get you up to speed uh, as you need to go. But what I was saying uh, back there was, one thing I like is that you can kind of ignore, or not ignore, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, uh, but you can kind of uh, prohibit or not, I don't know. Anyway, if you keep your foot towards the uh, top of the pedal, but you're still holding the vehicle in place, the auto stop start system will not turn the vehicle off. If you push your foot into the brake at a stop, then it'll turn the auto stop start system and it'll turn the vehicle off. Um, so you kind of have that option if you don't want the auto stop start system to turn the vehicle off, um, then you just you know keep your foot a little bit higher up in the pedal while still maintaining the vehicle in place. Um, if that may, I'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys, but basically, if you push your foot far into the brake while you're stopped, the vehicle will turn itself off. If you guys just push your foot far enough to hold the vehicle in place, then it's not going to turn the vehicle off with the auto stop start system. Um, going over bumps, this thing handles itself very, very well. Um, one kind of finicky thing that I noticed with the infotainment system is I was trying to connect it to Bluetooth and it did connect to Bluetooth initially when I went to the dealership to where I filmed. But once I got to where I filmed um, the vehicle, I turned it off. And then I got back in it and then it disconnected my phone from the Bluetooth and then it wouldn't like turn Bluetooth back on. So that was kind of a little finicky thing um, that happened to me. But normally that stuff doesn't happen um, with this system. I've tested out this system a few times and it hasn't done that. By the way, it says that we're in a 25 mile an hour zone. We are not in a 25 mile an hour zone until these lights here start flashing. For some reason, uh, Volvos always tell me that this is a 25 mile an hour zone, which technically it is, but only when those lights are flashing. And as you may have been able to tell, those lights are not flashing. I'm gonna give you guys another little acceleration here at this light, but unlike last time, I'm not gonna floor it. I'm gonna give it maybe 50 to 60% throttle once the light turns green. And then once the light turns green, we'll get up and go. Here's like a 50%.
honestly it feels quicker when it's not being floored it's kind of interesting uh, but overall this is a very very nice vehicle and I think it is a great value at $53,000 but that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like I mentioned earlier on in the video I'm now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your guys's help so please if you took anything from this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but again that's it for today's video I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.